crappy is if Quote started in Pipeline. I think what would be more crappy is if 8 to 6 started in Pipeline as aliens. Alright, here we go. This map is started. And here we go. This match is underway, 8 to 6 versus Quote Gaming, 8 to 6, doing a 4 1 split up in control as Marines. And oh my god, pipeline spawn for Quote Gaming! Oh my god, I hope I didn't curse them. Oh, please don't be mad at me. <laughs> Danjo and Relentant Nippler moving through the vents there with a pipeline spawn. Um, it's, it's very, that is a very crappy spawn for aliens just because it's so hard for them to gain map control from that area. The cysteine is uh, so far away. Basically what teams do right away is drop um, cargo uh, right away. And look, we see three of 86's Marine and Nano. They don't see any cis chain coming into here. So by that, they already know that, <laughs> that it's a pipeline spawn. They already know it's a pipeline spawn. Relent and Nippler now doing a little bit of harassment in the main base. We see Mac and Mello trying to shoot them out. I believe one of them was in Nano and suicided to get back to base to deal with that rush. And look at that, a T-Rez Lurk was dropped right away by an ulti is that Lurk. That is gonna be very, very dangerous, especially so early in this game. Here comes the Sysjain down to Cargo. 8 to 6, killing that Harvester that just got dropped. That Harvester does not get a chance to see the light of day. And here comes Ulti with that Lurk. Oh my god, he might lose it. 21%, he's in trouble. He is definitely in trouble. Oh, and he just loses it. Look, he falls down into the abyss. Oh, what a waste of a Lurk. He gets pinched there in cargo and gets taken down. Mac just takes down Nippler right at the uh, at the stairs there. And Walter is in C12 against Sammy G, who's a gorge. This might be what 8 to 6 needed was a pipeline spawn for Quoth. I'm not going to take anything away from them saying that that's why, you know, if they win, that that's why they won. I'm just saying that, you know, it, we all know that it's... Really, it, you're starting on your back foot already, right when the game starts, if you get a pipeline spawn. But Quoth seems to know, uh, they've practiced what to do. Look at them coming into Nanogrid, um, taking down these Harvesters, and very far away, eight to, look, Rain and Kramer ignoring what's going on in Nano, and they are coming into a very fortified C12. That's a bad choice. Because those guys in Nano are just going to come around the corner like they are right now. Ulti and Nippler now. Up against Rain, Kramer, and Mac. Mac comes around the corner, takes them down. And three Marines strong coming into C12. Now trying to fight. Sammy G does go down as that gorge. But this Hydra farm is, is still up. They're going to try to get through there and pick off this Harvester. Meanwhile... That art last RT does go down in Nano. Rain and Mac. Let's see if we can get a little bit of view from Mac as he goes down <laughs> from a Hydra. And the Quoth cleans out those Marines and back up in Nano Grid. Here comes the RTs and Ulti coming in there with a little bit of backup from Relent. And they are going through the vents. It looks like they're going to try to go through. Um, under and up and come through the vents to try to get a jump on these marines meanwhile on the other side of the map we see Danjo doing a little bit of RT harassing there over um, in subsector and Relent still there on top and he's gonna make his pounce nice job nice teamwork from Ulti and, and, uh, and Relent There goes Ulti and Sammy G getting out of there. Sammy G was in that skirmish as well. Two Marines now in C12. Mac and Lieutenant Kramer, they do take down that Harvester while Sammy G and Nibbler are hovering around them. Nice mine kill there to Sammy G in this hallway. Mac Merck taking down Nibbler as well, doing such a great job. Carapace Shell has started. Meanwhile, Armor 1 has started, so Armor for both sides has started. Carapace is going to obviously complete first. 
Mac now coming into Nano to try to save that RT. Does not do a good job. It goes down and they end up losing Nano. Mac saying that he loves mines. <laughs> All right, Walter and Mello now moving into wide junction as the cis chain comes into there, reclaims that RT. Relent taking down this power and Kramer coming around the corner to try to slap him off that. Power does go down. He's going to end up trying to run in and slap him off. Can he do it? He does. That power does get saved and 8-6 to six back in there. Wasting a lot of money trying to, trying to get those off. I mean, they've lost two sets of harvesters so far. And now, we're seeing that these are going up. Back down in cargo, Mello taking a little pot shots on Nippler. Nippler kind of going back and forth, play, trying to, trying to parasite. He does get one off, another one off as well. Nice job there. And Relent comes in for the kill from behind as he was going after Nippler. Great teamwork there. And now three Marines. Uh, that power is at 26%. They don't have welders, so they can't fix it. Those three marines are coming out of nano grid, going into East Junction, and they're still going to try to hit this C12. Nippler and Sammy Jean hearing the footsteps. Look at that. Staying right there, waiting for ulti to come out again. I believe, yep, that is a P res. I'm sorry, a personal res uh, lurk. Sammy G taking down two, Nippler taking down the last one, and that Marine Offensive gets completely cleaned up. Here we go, Relent taking down the power in Nanogrid, and he's going to be reinforced by Sammy G and Nippler. Those um, resource towers are going to be recycled. And now eight to seven. Wow, I, you know, I have to say, Quoth Gaming must have really, really practiced um, a pipeline start. Look at this map. With a pipeline spawn, they have seemed to done really, really well. So now, Mello and Mac in Y Junction. Ulti, Dangio, and Nippler trying to get this away. Mac Merck trying to get there. Let's try to get a little bit of footage there. Mello takes down Sammy G. Nippler takes down Mac Merck. And Mello, the only one left, he gets cleaned up. Scan going down a little bit too late. Kramer and Rain now running down into Cargo, which is completely sisted up. Look how fast they sisted up. Nano Grid here, those two Harvesters working overtime. Three Harvesters for Quoth Gaming with those two in Nano Grid being grown, but not nothing to laugh at. Five RTs for eight to six, so both teams are going to be sucking in some really good res soon. Ulti coming in, streaming in there with Alert, trying to get a bite on Kramer, and he better not lose that again otherwise I think Quartz is gonna be really pissed I mean imagine being in the locker room after this game if he loses this lurk again he might get a uh, some some jokes played on him <laughs> rain taking down Sammy G in cargo um, all right Phase gate going up in system waypointing. This is a very, very good spot for Marines to put a phase gate. Extremely strategic on this map. All right, so three Marines coming into nano. After this happens, I'll tell you why that's strategic if you don't know why system waypointing, system waypointing is so good. And it's under fire right now, if you can see on the minimap. But we're going to stick with these guys in nano grid. They end up wrecking those harvesters in nano and rebuilding this power. Really good job for 8-6, to six, reclaiming Nano. And now in system waypointing, 90% on this. Oh, and the Lurk does go down. Ulti does lose his second Lurk of the day. Wow, not on his game. Oh, I don't want to be in the locker room after this game. I guess it could be worse. I guess he could have lost two fades. So, in system waypointing, um, basically, look at system waypointing. Look at where it's positioned in terms of nanograde, wide junction, and cargo, and also sub access. So, these three Marines are going to move into there. I'm going to open this map and show you. While having system waypointing, it's going to give you quick access to nano, quick access to cargo, quick access to sub. So, you basically lock off this side of the map, and you can um, stage attacks from anywhere on the map. L uh, oh, look at this push coming in. Five Marines coming into cargo against this newly dropped hive. Can they do it? I'm going to get the point from DeWalter right now. If I can find him on the list. They are taking down these crags. They do have shotguns. 
looks like a bunch of Marines already got taken down. Three Marines left here in um, in cargo. 63% on this hive. I don't see anybody. And wait, if I don't see anybody, that means a, a counter might be happening. No, I don't see that on the map either. And cargo does get destroyed. Great job, eight to six, taking out cargo. They committed fully onto that push. So now they completely wreck that harvester. And from cargo, they're moving in through the line there. And look at that. Here comes another um, counter push. While that is happening, might as well take their mobility off the map as Quoth um, takes down that phase gate. And we're seeing another phase gate going into the dome. This is another good one as well. You can get to um, C12 pretty quickly. You can get to pipeline and you can get to cargo pretty quickly as well. There goes a scan to help the um, 8 to 6 out. They are phasing back. We're seeing as far as upgrades. Weapons 2 almost done. Armor 1 is completed. Welders research has started. That's going to finish in just a bit. And here comes a push from both into control. But 8 to 6 is Come there in force, so damage. this is not going to be good for Quoth. They may lose this match. 8 to 6 really turning it on, giving pressure all over the map. Still sitting pretty with all these. And now, look, here comes through the dome these three Marines coming into C12. They're going to take down this newly formed um, Harvester. They're going to take that down really quickly. Run back to this phase date. Are they going to get there in time? Mello, Mac, and Lieutenant Kramer coming in to try to get this off in time. Mello might go down. And the phase gate is down. Great counter push from Quoth, taking that strategic location out of the way. Oh my god, I am seeing an arc factory in Nano. What is that? Oh, I'm sorry. It was a Marine next to an arc, next to a phase gate, which made the icon look like an arc factory. <laughs> I was gonna say, what? <laughs> All right, so it's a ninja phase gate in nano. Um, they're gonna take that out um, And those harvesters do go down look at that. They just cut the cis chain a cis chain has been reestablished But and they put the phase gate back up in the dome There we go fades on the field Relent as a fade we're seeing Dangio can go fade as well nippler can go fade um, in one res that may change the game I mean, eight to six needs to know and learn from what happened on that first um, in that first round on Summit. Once the fades came out, quote, very very good with those fades, even without blink, even with just shadow step, they are extremely deadly. Just look at how Relent took down Walter and gets out of there. So really good job with shadow step. That could actually change the game. And now we're seeing Dangio, a Nippler, used his P res to go fade. He's an egg right now, so we're going to have two fades on the field. And, I mean, they already saw a fade on the field, so they know that they're, we're coming up to that point where fades are going to be on the field, and this is going to change the game for 8-6. to six. If 8-6 to six doesn't work on upgrades right now, I mean, with fades on the field, they're going to need to get some armor too, uh, maybe some jetpacks as well. Look at Danjo and Relent with those fades. Getting down that RT subsector now has been claimed by Quoth and Nippler as that fade in the dome. I feel like I've said fade a million times in the last minute. Sorry. <laughs> it just kind of hit me now. You're saying fade too much. Well, you know what? That's what's happening on the map. All right. So in these harvesters, 35% on this harvester in topographical, and we're seeing a little bit of cat and mouse action happening in nanogrid as the fade goes in and out, taking out one of the marines on his way out. And now Nippler and Ulti surrounding this dome phase gate. Sammy just taking out a marine at the last minute. Let's see if Quoth can pull this out. I mean, 8-6 to six needs to push. They need to push right now. I mean, Quoth playing a really good game. They're, I mean, if you can see what they're doing, they are keeping the Marines defending their points like crazy so they can't mass and expand, and they're buying time. However, look at the res. Quoth Gaming sitting on just one res node, which, I mean, we know that at the end of the day, this is a res game. 
So if eight to six can hold off and start winning engagements, or at least go even on engagements, they might have a chance at pulling off this win. And there we go. We're seeing now Mac comes into subsector, sees this newly grown hive. He's going to be joined by Walter on the other side. That skulk does go down and 52% grown on this hive. This is an attack that they needed to shift the focus. The dome base has been taken out. So if they can shift the focus of Quoth right now, unless Quoth rallies and does a um, uh, and does a, a counter push, but Subsector is going to go down, and we do see that Cargo has just been dropped. I mean, that is it. Um, they need to now se start securing points on the map and securing res on the map. They're only sitting on one uh, resource tower with one being grown. I'm sorry, two now, uh, two full now. With a phase gate up in nano, this may be really hard. I mean, Quoth really has to uh, use the, um, uh, I mean, their teamwork to really take out eight to six. Look at this, eight to six, just slamming Quoth into the mat within that engagement in nano grid. Very, very good job. They're sitting on six res, one blueprint. But look at this, that cargo hive, 29% grown. And Subsector has been claimed now. So that's going to release higher tech. And with all this res, let's look at this res tower since kind of this is a lull in the game. 14 res towers lost of 86. 9 harvesters lost for quote. Team resources 672 to 363. Damn good lead for 8 to 6. And 51 to 39. They're winning more engagements as well. So on paper and with numbers, this is leaning towards an 8 to 6 win. What it's going to come down to is player skill at this point. And look at this, Quoth just swarming over that 8-6 to six offensive in cargo. Completely annihilating them, all those shotguns being dropped on the ground. But hey, it doesn't matter, you're sitting on 7 <laughs> resource towers. I mean, what's a shotgun? What's a shotgun cost at that point? So now we are sitting in topographical Dangio, biting in this RT, 8 to 6 gathering together. Have you guys noticed 8 to 6's, like, better teamwork in this round? Like, they're, 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 um, staying together a little bit better. They're moving in groups a little bit better than they were in the previous games. I have to hand it to them. If they, if that was their locker room spiel, um, of stick together, use the buddy system, hold hands, then it worked. Because they really are using the buddy system. Uh, and keeping each other alive. Now look, Walter and Kramer walking into Pipeline, which is the main spawn of these uh, aliens. Ulti trying to take down Kramer. He gets nano shielded. Oh, he gets taken down. Shotgun to the face. Relent is going to go down as well. Great job there by 8 to 6. Man, 8 to 6 is just turning it on. I am very, very impressed by their individual play right now. This is a very, very good game. There's the scan down. Advanced Armory has just finished. We're seeing Armor 2 is done. Weapon, I mean, has been done. Weapons 3 is halfway done. Rain coming around the corner, slapping Dangio off that Skylight's RT. Nothing to take away from Quoth. For having a pipeline spawn, they're doing a damn good job as well. Oh, Sammy coming around the corner, taking shotgun pellets to the face. Relent now around the corner. DeWalter is half health and now up against alert. Oh, just gets bitten where the sun don't shine. He took an arrow to the knee. And Rain over in Overlook with a half health, or below half health RT. Jetpacks has been started. Danjo really going after that RT in Skylights. Looks like he's going to be able to take that down. Meanwhile, down in Cargo, Mac goes down. So, what's weird is that I know I just said about, like, the buddy system and they were doing really great, but there was a lot of single marine kills there. I don't know if they're getting a little bit ahead of themselves, but they really need to stick together and continue doing what they're doing now that, um, you know, now that, uh, they're kind of ahead. We're seeing Dangio at 65 res. He's going to be saving four in Onos, if I could guess. At two RTs, that's going to take him a, quite a bit. Blink has been completed. Sammy G at 42 res. Do 
Walter and Lieutenant Kramer making short work of that harvester in pipeline. And now big fight, big quote offensive happening in nano while that's happening over in pipeline. Mello goes down and all five aliens are in nanogrid taking down this base gate. Can it go down? It does. And this base is going to get cleaned up. Meanwhile, those two pipeline eight to six Marines are running back through East Junction. Lieutenant Kramer stopping to take down some Hydras. While this base is going down, we're seeing that 40% on that power is Walter and Kramer gonna get there in time. Let's see from Walter's point of view as he runs into there. Flashlights are on. Looks like the aliens are right outside the doorway. They're gonna try to come in. We see a fade popping around that corner. DeWalter with another Marine. Nice shot there by DeWalter, but not enough to kill him. And here comes Quoth as they clean them up. Great teamwork of when to actually come in there, supported by a fade, Nippler. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we're seeing now a L Mac with the jetpack in pipeline, just being annoying, taking some pot shots at the hive, taking pot shots at eggs. And a phase gate to subsector is the only other phase gate linking on this map. Walter and Kramer now. Coming in through Nano. Trying to Command take this out. We're seeing now a phase another phase gate going up in Nano, so they do reestablish control there. Dangio and Sammy G in subsector. Sammy G at 44 P res. And there's I mean, look at this. How well they're Quoth is holding, and they've been res denied almost this entire match. I mean, it's going to take eons for Dangio to get that 9 res to go Onos. I mean, let, let's look at this. Look at the res flow here. You can see how much of a res game and how much how important res is, uh, resources in this. 67 to 53, Quoth closing that gap a little bit, but not enough. And now we're seeing Walter... And Rain coming in through Y Junction. Bad timing. Three life forms in there. Court does end up going down. And you're seeing that, um, you know, Quoth is committed with all their life forms. You're seeing Court is not in the hive because he doesn't need to be. Um, he just got in now, but he was fighting a little bit ago. So they're trying to get six aliens, six life forms on the field to try to do and make a dent in eight to six. But with seven, they're sitting on seven RTs right now. This is not looking good. I mean, individual player skill is important, but when you are just going to get out tech like crazy, um, it, it does very little. Mellow coming in there with a nano shield, four Marines floating around, floating around like butterflies into cargo. And we're seeing that on the other side, Mac there with a with a jetpack taking down that last or second to last harvester. They are down to one, and now four Marines all over the place in cargo with Nippler as the fade. Let's try to get from his point of view. He has Blink. He is trying to do his best to get these guys out of here. And they do. And look at him up against Mello, trying to get a couple swipes. Oh my god, he might lose it. 31% Carapace shell does go down, so Mac does end up taking down Carapace in the main base while that fight was happening. Good defense there by Quoth. And we are seeing now Nippler maybe get stuck on a corner. Nope, he's going to get out. He's being chased by Mello. He's got to get out of there. One sh good shotgun blast will finish him. He does get out of there. Mac does fly. He does have Nano Shield flying around trying to take on all these aliens by himself. Ends up getting taken down. And Quoth just figuring out what to do at this point. 68 P res for Dangio, 47 for Sammy. If Quoth can field another fade on the field and get Dangio as an Onos, 8 to 6 may be in trouble. Command I'm just saying. So if they can keep 8 to 6 on their toes until those life forms come out, then they may have a chance. All right, so basically now 
Terra is being re-researched, but look at what's happening. While that offensive was happening in sub-access, DeWalter and Rain snuck into Pipeline, and they're causing some mayhem. Quoth is going to need to respond to this, otherwise they're just going to be shoved down into Cargo, and look at that in Cargo. While this fight is happening in Pipeline, Kramer and Merck are in Cargo shooting up the joint. Nippler on half health. They are really after him. He's trying to hump that hive, trying to stay alive while he can take down these Marines with jetpacks. He does end up taking them down. Let's quickly go and look over what's in Pipeline. Oh my god, they end up taking that down. Pipeline is down, and there we go. A defensive, I'm sorry, a defensive beacon has been called to take them out of the fight and save them. Very nice call from 8 to 6. Good timing there. Pipeline has been lost. 11 resources for Quoth. This Quoth is going to need a miracle to pull this off. Dangio now at 70 res. Here comes the all-in from 8 to 6. They want to end this game and grab a win. There goes all the life forms, Nippler and Danjo, the only ones left, three eggs left on the map. We see Relent doing, uh, getting a spawn, Nippler does end up going down. This is it. We are seeing eight to six doing a great play, and there we go, there's the GG. Wow, what a game play by eight to six. They, very, very good game, I have to say. I mean, and also, I have to hand it to Quoth Gaming, I mean, for, you know, getting, you know, getting the pipeline spawned, it, it, it looked very, 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 um, like, it looked